Good morning. Today I am going to do a day in the life in Germany. So a couple of things have happened. I am now in my second trimester and we had our 12 week appointment yesterday, but I'll have a video up on that pretty soon where I recap what happened in my first trimester. Today though, let me put on some of this. My lips are always so dry here in Germany. I have to film three YouTube videos to edit a video, get it up and post it for Thursday, fill out tax documents. I didn't really know that you needed to file taxes in the US when you're a resident in Germany. Then I have to call the German tax office and get my 2021 taxes filed. I promised I would call my mom yesterday, so I texted her later and was like, sorry, it's so busy. I'll call you today when I can focus more. Lots of stuff to do. Hi, baby. Do you want mommy's attention? little paw what happened the rest of this week oh no falling down the stairs I didn't fall down the stairs again which is excellent let me get to my taxes and I will see you guys on the flip side I know nothing about taxes it's so embarrassing So I'm supposed to attach my German 2020 tax return, or not return, tax filing. Uh, and I have no idea where to do it. I feel so stupid. I don't know what's going on. Okay, I don't know if this is like crazy. For anybody who's been following my channel, I have briefly and like kind of lightly talked about our next door neighbor. She is not letting her caretaker come over anymore. She screams all day. She's having hallucinations in the hallway, things like that. And it's very, very unfortunate. She's just an elderly woman who lives alone. We've reported it to literally every authority, every aunt, every anything that you could report it to um, in Leipzig and we've been ignored. What I told Max was, if people keep ignoring us, I will take this to journalists, I will take this to German television because this should be a crime that in a country like Germany that is set up to support people and its citizens and residents, I just think this is so criminal that everybody turns a blind eye to an old woman in need. Honestly, this is so weird. My neighbor, we've never talked to him. He came over today, he knocked on the door and he was like, hey, he's like, can I ask you a couple of questions about the neighbor? And I was like, do you hear her screaming too? He was like, my friend is a journalist and would like to pick up the story. Can you believe that? I literally was just talking about this to Max and he was like, don't, don't, like, let's just, handle things like privately and slowly. And I was like, this is a crime that is going unnoticed. This is so bad. It's so weird how things like that happen, but hopefully they are able to help something get resolved with her. I think she's the main concern, right? It's, it's difficult because she really screams all day and all night. So it really like takes away the quality of life when you're sleeping at two in the morning and it's like blood curdling screaming. She also sleeps with her window wide open. <sighs> I don't know, anyway. I hope something gets resolved for her and she gets the care that she needs and the help that she needs because that is such a sad situation to live alone like that. Also, the children live like 15 or 20 minutes away and they just don't come to visit. I don't know. Ugh. That stuff is really... Anyway, back to my tax stuff. The Max is getting our 2020 German tax return. I wasn't sure where to submit it in this because I, not that the program is not super easy to use, it's me not knowing anything about taxes or accounting. Oh, it's so scary I have to report your taxes because you don't wanna mess up, I don't know. Um, so Max is getting our tax return and his nice little German binder. Max was disappointed in me, huh? No, I was not. Yes, you were. I just like consistency and a plan. I didn't upload on Sunday. <laughs> And Max was like, I asked him the other day, I was like, what can I do to support you? And he was like, you can upload your videos consistently. And I was like, delete the message, delete the reply, delete for everyone. Uh, wait, so this accountant that I found is literally a gift from heaven. He's the coolest guy. He was so, just knew everything, felt very confident. I knew he knew what he was doing, so I trusted him. Oh, anyway, that's enough about my accountant and my tax situation. Max took Todd on a quick round while I stay here with the oven on. We don't like to leave the house with the oven on. Not best practice, you know? Not best practice for running a home uh, or an apartment that you rent. So I'll have his lunch ready. We'll probably watch Love is Blind. There's his gourmet fish sticks. 
I've made some mashed potatoes. Broccoli. I like when I make Max food and he's like, oh, this is so good. I'm not hungry anymore. Thank you so much. I feel like I've done a good thing. This is my high tech photography section. Maybe I should sit for this. Someone called me fat on my YouTube. Someone called me fat on my YouTube and I was like, yo, first of all, maybe I'm a little chunky. Second of all, I wear huge baggy clothes. I don't know why. I think because I'm a little insecure about like all of my fat is held just in my stomach. I have really toned legs. I have great arms. I have just a really beautiful body. My stomach though is the central. I'm a marshmallow on toothpicks. And I was like, ah. But then Max was like, don't worry, you're pregnant. And I was like, it's not the pregnancy. I saw a meme the other day that was like, it's really incredible that we can send people to space, but we can't figure out how to get a printer and a scanner to work at your own home. And I was like, I feel that, I relate. This is like so embarrassing to send in like photos of your stuff, but our scanner and printer, it's like so difficult to use. If this isn't relatable content, I don't know what it is. I want you to tell me what millennial has a printer and a scanner that works that is not at their university or that is not at their office. Technically, you're not supposed to use your work printer and scanner for personal use. I knew a lady once who was writing a book and she printed out her entire book at work. It was like something like 600 pages. I worked in HR and I found it in the printer. She had accidentally sent it to ours and I was like, do I say something? And I just brought it to her and I was like, hey, I found this in the printer. It looks like it's for personal use. If you need to print your personal stuff, you really have to do it at home. It's not appropriate to be using company funds. Human resources is a really fun job and I honestly really like it because I feel like you really learn how to document things and keep a good track record. Honestly, if you're like an internet sleuth, that's probably the best day job for you. You really get down to the bottom of all of these like different weird things that people do. I can see why people are like, Boa, look at this. Honestly, like I have kind of a lot of belly fat. Do you guys see this? I'll show you. See this little fat here? I've never seen a girl like this. I like that looks like me where they have this like belly fat that just sits. Let me see. My mom's gonna be like, don't put that on the internet. At the end of the day, we've all seen belly fat. See, it's just here. Like, and then here, like I get a lot of like fat rolls. And from the side, when I sit, this is where I wear those baggy sweaters because then it covers it. I get kind of like insecure about it because it's this like little fat. Do you guys see that? Um, and it pokes out of my jeans. It makes it hard for me to purchase jeans because my belly fat just like hangs over, but I don't have like those, uh, what do you call them? Muffin top or something like that. I just wear big clothes so I look huge. I'm gonna post a picture. If you guys have seen that Kanye West video, who's he with? He's like wearing these like big square outfits. I literally looked like that in this these pants that I bought and this sweater from H&M. It's probably not the most flattering thing, but at the end of the day, I don't really care. I also like to eat ramen noodles, mac and cheese, and oh, you know what is the death of me? Those hitchies. Hitchies in Germany. <sighs> Woo! Woo! Cross it off. So fill out tax sucks. Cool. So then we have this one done too. Max will have to call the tax office. This is clean dinner. Call my mom, bank, and tax refund. Okay, cool. So I just have to film videos, edit, then do the rest of this. I have been having such weird food craving, weird stuff. I don't even know how to describe it. For my lunch breakfast today, I'm going to have one slice of peanut butter and honey toast with my absolute favorite <laughs> honey ever. This is one of the family members. They like are an imker, I guess, a beekeeper, and they do their own honey, and it is the best honey I've ever had in my life. And then I want something that's weird. I want hummus and corn. I've been in a corn mood lately. I don't know why, but I'm embracing it. I love corn, it's delicious. So that's what we're eating. I am going to eat and do my favorite activity, which is watch YouTube. And I'm watching 
My wife hired a hitman, so I faked my own murder to catch her. Juicy stuff. Eating my little corn and hummus bread and my peanut butter and honey toast. It really is the most extraordinary story. There was a gangster at this guy's gym. See, I wouldn't know if gangsters hang out at the gym because I never go. <laughs> this guy went all out. He pretended to be dead to his entire family and kids. The only people in on it were the guys that helped from the gym and the police officers. I think when I'm recording, I'll record with my cell phone so you guys can just see the, the setup. I'm just gonna change my sweater, change my hair. Hopefully I don't have anything on my eyebrows. There are a lot of people on my channel. It's actually really funny. I actually like that I'm talking about this stuff. I find it interesting. A lot of girls will comment and they're like, brush your eyebrows. Oh my God, do something to your eyebrows. They're a mess. And maybe this is me rebelling a little bit against what beauty norms are, but I personally will not do my eyebrows very on purpose. I know that they like grow weird ways. They grow down, they grow up. These ones get kind of crazy. I have to pluck them here, you can see. When I get on YouTube, there are times where I'll wear makeup and stuff, but I, for the most part, really, really like that I don't wear makeup on my channel and I don't make too much of an effort to take my glasses off unless the glare that day is super bad. I really want to be just myself that way, number one. When anyone sees me out in public, they're not completely shocked that I look totally different. Yeah, number two, I just don't really want to have the focus be on my looks, which I think then leads to the insecurity of will people like me if I'm not aspirational? That's what I always think. Like, are people going to like to follow me or like to have to listen? Or are they gonna click on my videos if I don't look super gorgeous? Because I'm guilty of clicking on a pretty girl's video. I like to watch pretty girls. I think just for myself so that I have some sort of, I don't even, it's not even control, but some sort of say in what is expected of my looks or my image. I just kind of leave it as is. I show up in these sweaters. I you know, don't really do my hair too much. Maybe I'll curl it every now and then. Obviously, I love it if I go to events. I feel so pretty if I have makeup on and my eyelashes have mascara because they're very long and my eyebrows, they're still not very brushed. I'll like comb through them, but they don't really stick. They're really just honestly like stuck in place. And if I put, um, I've tried to do that wax that you put in them to keep them up. And if if they stay up, which they really don't because they grow down. They look like big feathers on my face and I just personally don't love that look for myself. I kind of like that they're a little scraggly, messy. How boys have messy eyebrows. My eyebrows are kind of messy. So anyway, that's that. If you're commenting that I need to do my eyebrows, I'm not going to do them. Sorry. <laughs> I have been obsessed with watching this Anna Delvey stuff. I think this girl is so interesting. She's fascinating to me because she is from Germany. She's from a place over by Cologne, which I already find quite interesting because I've never been to Cologne. And just that she was able to like pull everything off, like what a resourceful girl with such a weird attitude. So many people seem to like her so much. And I just kind of find that fascinating. So I'll probably listen to an Anna Delvey crime case. Tomorrow we're gonna have my pasta, the feta pasta thing. I'm so excited to eat dinner tonight. So chicken, it's like garlic salt chicken, honey glazed carrots with some buttered mushrooms, mashed potatoes. <laughs> Again, watching, dishes done. Dinner done. Okay, right. talk to you bye later. Bye bye, bye mama. What a long call. Let's see, I was on the phone with my sweet angel mom for an hour and 26 minutes. Lucky me. Okay, well, I got um, everything off of my list except for editing a video. It's now 7.18 and it takes me about two to three hours to edit a video, rewatch it, get it uploaded, do the full process. 
think I'm just gonna do it tomorrow morning and have it uploaded then. Anything else? How was your day? Was it good? It was very busy. It still is a little busy, but yeah, it's time to relax for us now. I didn't see Max all day. And then Todd was such a good boy. We might play with Todd, honestly. Yeah, should we should we? play with him. We'll yeah. probably go and play with him for a sec. If you guys like this video, go ahead and leave it a like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram if you haven't followed me yet. My handle is at IG with Olivia. I update my stories. I post every now and then, but I like to update my stories. I like to talk to you guys. That's that. I'll see you guys in my next video. Tschüss, ciao, see you later. Bye.